and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a cook with me and I'm cooking for my whole family, I think, kind of, some of them. <laughs> um, so my mum and my sister, I've been on holiday for the last week and the kids and my sister's husband so they're all coming back today and everyone's coming around to see them and we're gonna just eat lots of food, meaty food because Gorbani and they didn't eat anything meaty in Malta. <laughs> right now I'm making cake which is going to be Victoria sponge cupcakes. I have prepared some food already. Welcome to my fridge. This is meat, um, meat and chicken samosas. This is potato and a little bit of meat in there, samosas. These are the same filling as the potato and meat ones. And then, what's in there? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, I marinated meat, didn't I? Oh, I'm good, aren't I? So last night I marinated some meat, which is Gurbani meat, which we were given. Um, so that is nice and tasty for the curry. But now I need to um, do lots and lots of onions, finish off the cake. The cakes are gonna cool while I do everything else because I think I might as well do that first. But yeah, this is what's going on. My kitchen is already a big mess. I've just fried some samosas because my sister is here and I love her. And Issa's being a little grump bag, so I don't know how this is gonna go. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish the cakes now. So in this bowl, I just have some stalk butter, which is this one. And I also have some custard sugar, which is six ounces of each, okay? So that's what's it. I don't wanna be alone. I spend too much time by myself. So many things that I still don't know. It's time for me to move on. So I've just beat that until it's nice and fluffy and a little bit lighter in colour. And now I'm going to add in the eggs and vanilla. So because I've used six ounces of butter and sugar, I'm going to use three eggs. So I've got like mixed eggs. I don't really care about large and medium eggs. I just use one egg for whatever. Vanilla extract to your shopping list. Now I'm gonna beat that. Hoping that it's still you and me. Yeah, that be the voice shine. Just some time be Okay, so now that that is all nice and can you see all the bubbles? I don't know if you can, but there's loads of bubbles in there. It's nice and fluffy. So now I'm going to add flour. And I'm using self-raising flour because it's always it always comes out the best. Guess that I was wrong this time. When I think about it now, I know that I don't. I do not want to give you more of my life. Also going to add a bit of baking powder because we love to see the cakes arise. Okay, I've done something really stupid. I haven't put the oven on, which is what you're meant to do first, so. Let's do that now. Yeah, stupid. Um, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> also, didn't um, put the things in here, so gotta do that as well. I do not wanna give you more of my life. You're just gonna waste it now. Not sure if I'll make it out.
so the cakes are done in the oven and now I just need to tidy up this mess and then I'm gonna get started on doing the curry so just do that quick there quick there as quick as I can So first of all, I'm going to put the meat for the rice on to cook and then I'm going to start on the curry, the onions and that. So I'm going to get the pan out and then I'm going to put all the spices in. There you go. So in this pan here, I've got some water which I'm going to put on to boil. As I'm boiling it, I'm going to add my spices and my meat to it. I'm boiling the kettle to add water to this once I've added all the spices and the meat. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's go. for the rice I'm gonna start doing some onions I'm gonna do four onions two for my curry and two for the rice when it's when the meat's ready so I'm gonna start doing them now I always use a mandolin which is this to do my curry onions well whenever I'm cooking curries because they slice really nicely really fast and it's just a lot quicker than slicing them by hand so let's go this pan which I'm going to heat up about three or four tablespoons of vegetable oil just going to um, take all the cakes out and put them on here to cool now I'm about to get all the spices ready for the curry so that's what I'm gonna do but I've decided that I'm also going to make a chicken curry I've just got chicken out to defrost I've got chicken out to defrost here and I'm going to do all the spices for the curries now so let's go So I've already marinated my meat so I don't need to do two portions. I'm just going to do the one for the chicken. So that can go back. Now I'm going to prep my tomatoes so I'm just going to cut them up, cut these little bits off and put them in my blender and then I'm going to just blend them all up. So I'm 
I've had to add the meat into the onions. Look, the onions are like golden, basically done. So that's all going in there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a lot of meat. <laughs> Don't know if the pan's big enough, like. So I'm just gonna let that fully brown. It's just cooking away nicely, nice and slowly. And then once there's no red bits of meat left, I'm going to add in the tomatoes. just added enough water in here for it to boil nicely and just covered all the meat in water so this is what it looks like now this is what this is looking like I'm gonna need to add a bit more water because as you can see it's reduced quite a lot Now I'm going to just tidy up the kitchen a little bit before I start making the chicken one. ready so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the chicken and then just add all of these spices so I'm going to put that all the spices on first I don't know about you but I always have to wear a glove when I'm touching chicken and as in like spicing chicken I don't mind cutting it and touching it is that weird but um, when I marinate it I have to put a glove on because I don't like to get the orange fingers from the holy the turmeric but I haven't got loads of chicken so I'm going to add like vegetables and stuff to my chicken curry so I'm going to prepare them next but yes this is how the chicken's looking <laughs> So now I'm going to get the rice ready and soak it so it's ready to put into the brown rice when the onions are done. I keep my rice and my chapati flour in here. So this one's the chapati flour, this one's the rice and I've just refreshed them. That's why they're not um, closing because I haven't used any yet. This is what I soak my rice in and wash it in because it is so handy. This is from Poundland and I love it. I can't fit the mug in so I'm going to use a smaller scoop and then fill it like that. Going to prepare some vegetables to put into my chicken curry so right here I've got peppers and some little tomatoes cute I'm gonna put those in after everything's kind of cooked so they're still quite chunky like they don't break down so yes I'm just gonna cut up all of these quite small <laughs>
So now that the chicken is almost cooked, I kind of broke it up a little bit with my spoon just to make it go a little bit further because the chicken pieces were huge. Um, I'm going to add this plate of stuff to it. So everything is on to cook now and the rice is soaking, My that chicken curry is just cooking, I added the vegetables, I added the tomatoes and some tomato puree and mixed it all up and now I'm just going to wait for it to boil and then just leave it. Now I'm just going to chill for a bit because I don't have a lot to do until the meat is boiled for the rice so that is what the next step is. So I have been in and out of the kitchen just stirring the food. The, the, ch the chicken curry is basically done. It just needs to be boiled again once okay, um, we're ready to eat. Once we're ready to eat, it just needs to be boiled again. This is basically done. I just need to empty it out into here so I can take all the meat out and empty the water into there. And then this is how the meat curry is looking. The meat isn't quite that soft yet, so I'm going to leave it in there to cook while I do the rest of the food. Um, but yeah, just going to empty the meat out into here now. I'm just going to let that all cool down while I... I'm going to clear this pan out and then I'm going to fry the onions in that same pan. So that's what I'm doing now. needs quite a lot of oil in there and then I'm just gonna add all the onions that I fed earlier almost burnt but not quite burnt. I measured out all the water that was left from the meat and this is four cups because I've got two cups of rice and then this is the meat. It doesn't look like a lot but because it's going to be dispersed through the rice it should be fine because yeah it's fine because oh my god look at this this is what I mean like this is how it should be looking but a little bit more burnt than that so when that is done, I'm basically just going to add a little bit of stock to stop it from cooking and then I'm going to add the meat. So about half a cup of that. Like it literally takes seconds for the onions to burn so you need to be really quick but I think I got it perfect. Like look at that. looks amazing so now what I'm gonna do is add my meat so it gets coated in all that lovely charred not charred but very well done onions so there we go look at that beautiful now I'm just going to cook that for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna add the stock the rest of the stock even if I try to play it cool I keep a circle back to what I do I crush a little harder and have the tools So if you look at the water It's gone nice and brown from the onions when I poured it in Because of how cooked the onions were So that's how the brown rice is made Look at that Beautiful So I'm just tasting it for salt And I feel like it needs a little bit more So I'm just going to add a bit more Maybe a bit more. Now, once that starts boiling, I'm going to add the rice, which I've already washed until it's, the water was clear, and then I'm going to, and I've already drained it. So now, I'm just going to wait for this to boil, put that in, let it cook a little bit, and then put the lid on and stick it in the oven. It's only on like 100 degrees or something because I don't want to cook it too fast 
just on a slow low heat so yeah that's what is happening now so just waiting for this to boil yeah curry's just bubbling away I'm just about to um, cut the tops off these cakes because these are going to be mini Victoria sponges forgot to film it but I'm making naan breads now so I'm making it in my blender because it's just easier and I don't have the energy to do it by hand <laughs> just whipped the cream and then we're going to start filling them so all these need to have jam on them and then we're going to put the cream in Almost clean. Tots doing some washing up, aren't ya? Yeah. And yeah, we've so got cupcakes to eat, which we haven't ate yet, so it's gonna be yum. And yeah, it's been a very tiring day. Been cooking since what time? About two ish. Yeah. And now it's eight o'clock, and we've only just eaten now like half an hour ago. So yeah, it's been nice. Been lovely. Everybody loved the food. Did you like it? It was delicious. It was delicious. Did you hear that? <laughs> But Tot has been an absolute star as always. She just helps me so much. I love her so much. 
but yeah that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed cooking with me today and i will see you in my next video bye